Hey guys, just wanted to do a video today about therapy and counseling. So I get asked a lot, why would I want to do therapy? Why do people go to therapy? So firstly, I think therapy is amazing and that everybody should try it. It's just the best. It's like so cleansing, so liberating. It can just feel so energizing if you find the right therapist. Um, so people go to therapy or should go to therapy um, if they're thinking about something a lot. So something keeps coming up for you. Um, another good reason would be if you are avoiding anything. So if there's something in your life that you're avoiding, um, that would be a good reason to go to therapy. Uh, another great reason would be if there's an issue in your life that's affecting your relationships, either at home or at work or at school. Um, you might also want to go to therapy if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling angry or resentful, uh, worried, excessively worried where it's keeping you up, or again, it's taking up a lot of your day, that worry. So those are all reasons people go to therapy. I think there's myths. So the myths around going to therapy with your partner about your romantic relationship is that if you go to therapy or you tell your friends you're in therapy that you're 30 seconds from divorce or that you don't know how to communicate. Big myth. So a lot of the couples I work with are not 30 seconds away from divorce. They are talking about how to communicate better and in a safer way. Um, another myth is that you um, are crazy, have a very serious mental health diagnosis. So while there are therapists that are trained to work with people with schizophrenia and active bipolar disorder, things like that, that's not the only people that go to therapy. So mostly my day here is talking about relationships. So people talking about their romantic relationships and how they want them to be better or different. And then relationships with their, their parents. Um, and their in-laws. So I would say that is 90% of my days. It's talking about people's relationships. So how do you pick a therapist on to the next relationship? Um, you know what? Honestly, it's word of mouth in my heart. That's what I want to tell you. Um, but the problem is there's still a stigma around therapy and most people don't talk about their therapist. But I think we all should start talking about our therapist. So if you're not gonna ask a friend or somebody that you trust, um, look at their online profile, uh, maybe do some reading. I also always tell people, is their picture somebody that looks warm and inviting? Because the human brain, I mean, we do, we do work very quickly with appearance. So we look and we say, are you warm? Are you inviting? Are you somebody that I wanna talk to? And then you can book a phone consult and see what you think. Uh, always a good idea, always fair. Um, it's all about the therapeutic alliance. So it's really not about the letters behind the person's name or their education. It's about the connection. So there's a ton of research on this. I think if I remember back to my BSW way back when, 80% of the effectiveness of therapy is about, uh, the effectiveness in therapy is about the relationship between you and your therapist. So do you feel safe? Do you feel like that person cares about you? Um, do you feel judged? Uh, are you being listened to and heard? So it's mostly about the relationship you feel with that person. Um, that is so much the connection. So I've been to several different therapists until I found my one. Um, and you know what you know in the first minute. So there's been people that are amazing, I'm sure, but I've walked out and said, no, doesn't do it for me. There is no connection. So you want to look for that connection. So you kind of just have to try. Um, so that's why people do therapy. And I would love to see all of you, more of you, um, in my office. It's the best thing. After your session, you should feel energized. Sometimes it can be hard. So you have to take care of yourself, but you should mostly feel cared for in the sessions. Okay?